two. One, two. One, two. Good now, Mama. I'm ready now, Jack. God bless you. I hope you can hear me and see me well tonight. It's Monday night. Lord, thank you for allowing us to assemble ourselves together. Again, Jack, I'm ready. Yes, thank you so much. Let me greet these people. Let me... Listen, you got to remind somebody that it's Monday night and the revival continues. Make sure you call mama, daddy, cousin, uncle, all of them, man. Get in here. The revival continues. Y'all don't know how much I've missed y'all. Y'all don't even know. You don't have a clue how much we miss you. If you're coming to take a front row seat tonight, make sure you put your name in the name of your city. Make sure you represent your church and your pastor. Put them in the thread. Come on, let us know where you're looking from and where you're watching from. We invite all of you tonight. Let me know if you occupy an a 
front row seat tonight. Let us see if you are occupying a front row seat tonight. Come through. The revival continues. It's good to be here. Mama, how you doing tonight? Hallelujah. 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 And thank y'all so much. Y'all come on through. Y'all come on through. Let me see who we got here. Zelda, I see you. Little Rock is represented. I see you, Miss Sandra Williams. I love you. God bless you. Kirby Mitchell, my niece is in this room tonight. Robert Jerner, God bless you. God bless you, John. Preacher man. Faye, I see you. Thank you so much. Tammy Wilson is with us. Veronica Davis is with us. Dylan is with us. I see y'all, man. Miss Reed is with us. Come on, y'all. Can we give? Mm -hmm. Constance, I see you. Constance Hawkins, I see you. Y'all come on through. Robbie Brown. It's been a minute, man. Y'all get in here. Y'all call somebody. Y'all text somebody. Remind them that the revival continues. Hallelujah, the revival continues. Get in here. It's Monday night, and you know what you got to do. You got to call the preacher. You got to call the Sunday school teacher. You got to tell them the revival continues. Port out the Texas is in this room tonight. Runda, I see you. God bless you. Beverly, God bless you. Shay, God bless you. And I missed y'all last week too. God bless you, Dunn Patrick. Man, y'all been wonderful. Sylvia, I see you. Y'all come on through. Make sure y'all like and make sure y'all share. Make sure y'all tag and all that kind of stuff. It's been a long time coming, but we are here tonight. And I pray that y'all can hear me and see me well. George Blair, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming to, uh, through tonight. Y'all, I even got a little small congregation tonight in the classroom. Come on, give yourselves a hand tonight. God bless all of you or who thought it not robbery to um, come out tonight. I want to shout some more people out while we're coming and while we're eating and while we're tagging and all, uh, tagging and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Mama, since we've come to take another look, uh, let us do that tonight. All right. Hallelujah. Let's yeah, take another yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we came to do. So now, we came to take another look. You got to bring your Bibles with you. I brought my Bible tonight. Make sure you got your Bible. We come to read this tonight. And learn more about this. Come on. Call the preacher. Call the teacher. Call the deacons, everybody, get them in here tonight. Mama, I see you, and I love you, and kiss your mom for me, and kiss my baby for me. Y'all come on through. Yep. Y'all come on through, man. My help coming. Dina Brown, I see you. I see you. Dorothy Kelly, God bless you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. Barbara, I see you. Waco, North Carolina. Vivian Brooks, thank y'all so much for coming out to hang. Tony Muhammad, I see you, man. Mama, just one more time, and I'm not going to be long. Let's take another look. Let's go. We in there. Yeah. God bless you. Come on through. In case you missed it, make sure you bring your Bibles. You're going to need your Bibles tonight. Yeah, turn it up. Let's go. 
Man, we got New Orleans in here. I see y'all, man. James Mix, Justin Henderson. May y'all come on through. Sabrina, I see you. Houston, Texas is in here tonight. Shirley Sanders. Man, y'all come on through. Where my Blousville people at? Where my Osceola people at? Where my Jonesboro people at? Can I get y'all represented up in here tonight? Juanita Jackson is with us. Y'all wake them up, y'all. Come on, wake them up. Get them in here. Wake them up. Get them in here. Yep. Man. Hallelujah. Can we just give God a hand of praise? Whether you are on the couch, in the living room, in the laundry room, wherever you are, God bless you. And thank you so much for coming uh, to Bible study tonight. That's exactly right. And we thank God for all of you all over the world, you who are watching across state lines. You who are even watching across the water, we thank God for you. And for some, we say good morning to you. And for some, we say good evening and good night and all that kind of stuff. And um, greetings, grace and peace to all of you. Matter of fact, um, I want to play another look one more time because I want us to greet one another. I want y'all to greet one another in the cyber sanctuary. You may need to get somebody in here. You may see somebody in here, uh, and you need to speak to them tonight and let them know it's good to see them tonight, too. So now, those of you who have some friends on this live tonight, go ahead and hit them and say, hey, it's good to see you, girl. Yeah, go. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on, greet your brother. Come on, bro. Greet your brother. Come on, invite a preacher tonight. Invite a Sunday school teacher tonight. Y'all come through. Cold water, Mississippi. God bless you. Anthony, God bless you. Thank you so much. Glenda Carr, God bless you. Nina Edwards. Boy, y'all so sweet, y'all so kind. And we thank God for all of you. Hazel, I see you. Jonesboro represented, finally. <laughs> Paola Jackson, I see you. Yes. Hallelujah. Now, one more time, let's put our hands together for Jesus. And... Uh, this is what I want to do, Mama, tonight. God bless you. Uh, Y'all, I got Mama in here tonight, and she looking pretty. I'm talking about, Mama, did you dress yourself? You dressed yourself. I dress myself all the time. So you dressed yourself. Mama said she dressed herself all the time. Make no mistake about it. Mama got bling bling. Mama got stuff hanging from her shirt. And it is absolutely beautiful. God bless you, Mama. Um, and Bilbo found your tambourine. <laughs> Somebody call Bilbo and tell him Bible study is uh, moving forward. And we thank God for everybody that is here tonight. And uh, boy, I've been working all day uh, trying to make sure y'all can see me well and hear me well. And I pray that y'all can hear me well and see me well. Um, so, Mama, you got to give us a devotional script. So, Mama Wells is going to read Matthew chapter 25 those of you hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah mama is going to give us our and i'm not doing well as a 
So what we're, what are we reading tonight? Let me tell the. Uh, so we're reading Matthew, chapter twenty four, first through fifteen. If you have your Bibles, we're doing Matthew chapter twenty four. For our uh, devotional script, um, and you're now in the hands of right, Mama Wells. Hallelujah! Matthew's twenty-four, beginning at the first verse through the fifteenth, reads: And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. And Jesus said unto them. See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine and pestilence, and earthquakes in dire places. And all these are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you unto, the, unto be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for the witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And when you therefore shall see the abomination of the dissolution, dissolution, spoken, mm -hmm. dissolution spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, mm -hmm. whoso readeth, let him understand. I read I read to Matthew 24, beginning at the first verse through the 15. May the Lord bless the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. God bless you, Mama Wells. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mama, you gave us a mighty piece of devotional script. That was the Lord gave me that. Mama said the Lord gave her that. And um, Mama read a devotional script, and it talked about the end time. Hallelujah. When this gospel is preached. Over all the world. Now you can't sit here and be with the brothers and feet. You got to go all the way. <laughs> and preach the word. You give it to us, give it to somebody else. Yes, ma'am. We're not jealous. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Go and preach it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I like that. Yes. I like that particular script. And someday, yes, we're going to get into it. Okay. And we're going to really, really talk about the depth. Of that particular passage. Yes, Lord. When it said, when this gospel, when this gospel is preached Lord. Uh -oh. throughout the world, That's right. then. then the end will come. So, you know, Mama, we, we've been talking for a few weeks about the ending of worlds. I think we've come to grips with the fact that just because the Bible said the world would end, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't mean that uh -uh, necessarily people. time will stop. The, the, people's going to end. the world has never ended, right. G, but worlds yeah. have ended. That's right. The people's going to end. And at that particular time, evidently, they lived in a world that wasn't fit to last. All right. And so Jesus says, when this gospel is preached throughout the world, then the ending 
of the world that you hate will yes, come. That's right. That's right. And when one world ends, yes, it only means that another one begins. That's right. Put your hands together for Jesus if you love him. Uh, mama, it's kind of, I want to, let, let me say this, um, let me say this before we get off into devotion. I want to thank God for, first of all, I want to thank God for being at home. I want to think about, I want to think about, um, I want to thank God for being at home. And uh, last week we got a chance to celebrate my homecoming. Yes, yes. And mama, I'm so glad it wasn't my home going all right, all right. that brought us together. It was right my homecoming, yes, sir, your homecoming that brought us together. And I'm thankful God that you live long enough to see me coming back down the road. Oh, yes. And I wanted to say thank you, Prince of Peace. Yes. Uh, for welcoming me and thank you uh, for all that you did that week and I want to thank God for our cyber sanctuary this cyber church I want y'all to know how important and how much y'all mean to us I want to thank 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 God for all of you who supported us through prayers through finance you know through sharing and just you know um, just supporting us in any kind of way. We want to say thank you. Thank you I want to pause a minute. We had people here from Indiana. We had That's people right. from yes, Athens, yes, Georgia. Yes, I had a note last week because some people came here from Athens, Georgia, my, and I was supposed my, to my, shout. My, uh, I, I was supposed to shout a mother out, yes, but I don't. I don't have my notes, and I so apologize for that. But those of you who are from Athens. Put it in here for me and maybe somebody can get the name for me so I can shout y'all out. I want to do that because they drove all the way from Athens, Georgia to be with us. We even had Marva, my God, with us and her mom. And uh, they came from everyone. I want to thank God for all of you who got on the road to come and play a part in my homecoming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank God. They cook from level until about 2 o'clock. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for all of the brothers yes, here at Prince of Peace for making, and all of the cooks. Yes, Lord. Thank, thank you for thank making uh, that night what it was. Okay, I got that out the way so we yes, can push on and we can move. So now, uh, be on the lookout for Tim Rogers and the fellows live, the homecoming. We couldn't actually go live because it was a live recording and a live taping. But it's coming to a screen near you. Oh, Lord. Thank you Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God for our MC. <laughs> yes, Lord Jesus. And I want y'all to pray for Diane. <laughs> I, I want the cameraman to do a whole bunch of editing. Yes, Lord. Thank God for um, Diana. Yes, uh, and your wife. Why, why is my thing going like this? I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why it's going like that. Maybe. It's time for me to stop talking and start singing. Right. Okay, y'all, let's do Because He Lives all real right. quick. We haven't been in Bible study in a minute, right. and I need to get back into the swing of things. That's all right. And, um, My Lord. yeah, let's do He Lives. I need y'all to turn them right. TVs up. Turn them iPads up. Everywhere, come on. God sent his son And they called him Jesus He came to save Heal and forgive I like how y'all clapping out there See I ain't even got to tell y'all to clap Y'all just Y'all on it. He bled and suffered. Mama said he was bad. I read him. I can truly say, Lord, I'm better because 
Helio. I need y'all to make me a big choir to help me sing tonight. God sent his son, you know him. They called him Jesus. He came to say, hey, hey, hey. He bled and suffered. Mama said he was bad. Yeah, hey, bad I freedom. Mm -hmm. I can truly say, Lord, I'm better before. He lived all over the world. I want you to sing it for yourself. Sing it loud. Because he lived. Oh, good God on my I can face tomorrow Because he God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All fear Fear is gone Spirit of the living God, fear this room Because I know I know, I know my future oh, oh. life is worth living yes just one more time i want y'all to clap your hands like god lives in your life because he lives Ooh, i'm gonna face your mind somebody help me tonight All fear, fear is gone. I want somebody to know tonight. I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my future, uh, uh, life is worth. Come on, you got to tell yourself. Move on. Life Life is worth living. You are not alone. You're not by yourself. Keep on moving. Life. Come on, everybody, clap your hand one time and help me sing. He lives. He lives. He lives. He lives. Tell the kind well. I said, tell them that Jesus lives. Somebody may want to know Tim, how do you know he lives? Well, he got him in my room. Well, he got him in my tongue. Make my life brand new. Everybody tell him. You tell him. Everybody tell him. You tell him. Everybody tell him. You tell him. He touched my mind one more. What? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He lived, he lived. I know he lived. I know he lived. I think I'm feeling better. He lived in me, yes, Lord. Mama, I think I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling better, y'all. It's a. Uh, Somebody call Calvin Richardson and tell him the revival continues. Somebody text him. Tag him. Come on, man. Help me to hold out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> Mama said she wants to dedicate this to my cousins, the Bell family. And let, how about it? I dedicate this to Ann and and Coop and all of them, and Dodie's children, all of them. Let's do this. Let's do it. Come on, y'all. Everybody, come on, clap your hands. Mm, everybody help me sing tonight. I just want y'all to clap y'all hands like y'all go to somebody's church. Feel 
good God. Come on, help me sing, bro. And Jesus, Lord, I need you. Call Jesus. Somebody need you. God bless you again. Thank you so much for coming, y'all. Come close. Everybody help me say unto you. Amen. One more time. Jesus. Lord, I'm calling on you. Can't get along without you. Need to deal. Until here, a child comes. Oh Lord, have mercy here tonight. Lord, mm-hmm. listen. I think I remember the verse. Listen. Sometimes I'm up all night, wondering how I'm gonna win this fight. Gotta keep pressing my way. And hoping for a better day Sometimes the way Get hard And then other times It's just dark But I'm gonna keep Holding on Till you see me through The way You wanna clap your hand In this room tonight Yeah you Somebody tell the master, y'all, I feel my help, y'all. Until yeah, my change come, y'all, I feel good in this room tonight. Listen, I got one more verse. I think I remember it. Listen, mm, sometimes I'm up all night. God knows I'm not feeling right. I'm looking for your joy and your peace. I can't find it nowhere in sight. Filling myself up with you. Somehow, Lord, is causing me to go through. Uh, but I'm gonna keep holding on until my dying day. Oh. Somebody clap your hand tonight. And bell, this for you. Cool, this for you. Somebody tell Jesus. Tell the master. You got to tell Jesus. Lord, I need you. Sometimes my way seems dark and dim. I'm gonna trust you. As long as I live, y'all, I feel good. Sometimes I wait, seem dark at night. Lord, I believe He's gonna make everything all right. Ah, Jesus, somebody tell him, ah, tell him, ah, Jesus. Lord, my brother needs you. Yes, sister needs you. Mama needs you, Lord. Right now, Master. Right now, Master. My family needs you. Call me, Jesus. Heal me, Jesus.
Mama, you know, yes, Lord. Yes, when I was yes, Lord. Thank you, G. a little boy, yes, Lord. Thank you, G. Uh, hanging around in church with you, Mama, 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 Lord. Yes, when Jesus. Help me know, God. Yes, all right. when you needed encouragement My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. through dark times, My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. we didn't have it on record, but you had it in your heart. And tonight we want to let somebody know that you're going to make it. All right, show up Even if it's somehow. Come on, put it in the three and I'm going to make it. All right. Even if it's somehow. All right. Yes, Can I sing a little bit? Dear Lord. You know I'm free. Please help me. Y'all might as well come on here and have some church on my way and give me courage and a little more strength. I'm singing this for those of you who need to hear it. Each day, hey, hey, Lord, I'm holding to your hand. I got to stand by his way. I know I make it. Darling, you go help me have some church. I make it somehow. Somebody call Diana and tell her we still in church and kiss the baby. Give him all. You know I pray. Help me, <laughs> help me on my way, and give me courage, Lord, we need just a little more strength, yeah, day. oh yeah, hey, Lord, I'm holding, I'm talking to you, big mama, I'm talking to you, holding to your hand. I'm determined. I got the sand. Ah, I don't know how he's gonna do it. I don't know how I'm making it. I'll make it somehow. Y'all come on, help me. Y'all gotta clap your hands. Help me encourage somebody. Are y'all ready? Song says. Everybody clap your hands Y'all I got Barbara in here And look like ain't gonna nobody gonna have church but me and her Don't you know I Carry this song Carry this song Carry it all the way You know I Sometimes I make songs You got to hear my call And by his grace Y'all I feel like a happy preacher here yeah. Yes I'm gonna make it somehow yeah. Said I'm gonna Can I, can I, can I get away God knows I'm gonna I got to make it somehow Don't you know I you ought to clap fold in your clothes and line. Turn it all up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, sometimes I see right there. I mean, sometimes let me fall. Sometimes they go and get lost. Sometimes the be get tough. Hey, sometimes. You got to hear my call And by his grace This time you got to sing it for your family yeah. This time sing it for your relationship yeah. Said I'm gonna You wanna tell somebody God knows I'm gonna 
I'm on a mission. Don't you know I? I carry this soul. I carry this cross. Carrying it all the way. Sometimes I may stumble on me. Lord, thank you. And by his grace, I need everybody here. Put those clothes down for a second. Step back from the dishes and just do your two step. Oh, Tell somebody. Tell somebody. Tell somebody, some said I wouldn't, some said I couldn't, but look at me right now, look at me right now, you kept me from harm in me, you gotta trust me God to bring, but you can't hide with God, no you just got away. You gotta trust him and give him time. No matter how long it takes, he's a God you came to help. Ah, he'll be there. Ah, yes, sir. Tell somebody. Ah, yes, sir. You wanna tell somebody? Going to make it. Mama, I'm gonna make it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm gonna make it. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mama. Thank you, Jesus. I wanna say yes, you're gonna make it. praises to God tonight. I want to sing praises to God yes, tonight. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You don't mind, I want you to pray Thank for us tonight. Yes, Lord. Praying, you didn't have any um. music yesterday, so put it to us. <laughs> 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 put it to us tonight, yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. I want everybody involved right up and through here. I want to take this time to give praises to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We could do nothing. Yes, sir. We would be nothing. Yes, without yes, you, the one God. Yes, the Almighty. Yes, the Prince of Peace. Yes, you, Tonight, it's prayer time. I don't want to pray for you like I want to pray with you. I believe all of us got credit with heaven. I believe all of us have credit with heaven. All of us have access to this same way. Tonight, I want to call you to prayer all over the world. You may know somebody that's in need of prayer. I want you to tag them at them. Bring them in here. It's prayer time. Let us lift praises to God. And even the few concerns that we may have, I want us to, hallelujah, lift him before God tonight. Come on, lift your hands tonight, everybody, even in this sanctuary. Lift your hands right now. Don't ask God for nothing but thank him for everything. Let's give praises to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. All over the world, I want you to lift your hands. Don't ask God for nothing but thank him for everything. Those of you, yeah, you, you in the room, you in the living room, you in the kitchen, yeah, you. Lift your hands and don't ask God for anything but thank him for everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After I sing a verse or two, I'm going to let mama pray for us. Everybody lift your voice and say, Praise him. 
praise him. Come on, Brooklyn, help me sing. Praise him. Oh, yeah. This song is not for me. This song is not for you. This song is totally for the one God. For he is the only one that is due all praise. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Be lifted up. Praise him. Jesus. Bless his Savior. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Oh, uh. One more time. Everybody lift your hand. Praise him. Everybody lift your hand right now. I know the day been rough for some of you. You ought to praise him. Jesus. Bless his Savior. Hey, yes, sir. I'm thinking about the stuff Mama Yan said I couldn't do by myself. Praise him. Oh, praise him. Mom, I see you with your hand lifted. Pray them. Ooh, Jesus. Oh. Mama, I just want to say it one more time. It's just in my soul. Lift your voice and say, Pray them. I'm thinking about the stuff that could have happened, the stuff that should have happened, but it didn't. Because God kept you. Because God covered you. Jesus. Bless his Savior. Oh Lord. Listen, 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 listen. From the riding. From the riding of the sun. What? Unto the going down. Mama, I feel God in this room. Going down on the same. He's worthy. Jesus is worthy. Yeah. Worthy to be praised. One more time from the rabbit. From the rabbit. Y'all, I feel the power of God here. Unto the going down. Of the same Jesus hey, his name hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, oh. You ought to lift your hand right now and pray hey, 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 yeah. Make me have church all by myself. Everybody lift your hand and say, Jesus. You ought to call on that matchless name. You ought to call on that wonderful name. Oh, Jesus. Somebody call that name tonight. Somebody help me call that name. Somebody help me call that name. I don't know nobody else. I don't know nobody else that can change my walk. I don't know nobody else that can change my talk. Anybody here tried him? Y'all, I best to leave this alone because I feel this going the wrong way. Jesus, eat my bread when I'm hungry. Water when I'm thirsty. Shelter in the time of storm. Oh, my mama's friend. And my daddy's friend. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Somebody call that name. When I get weary. Weary. Oh, when I get heavy, 
it's a Monday night revival. It's all right to have church on a Monday night. Sounds like a Sunday morning feeling, don't it? Ah, Jesus! He's my way over. He's my way through. He's my way in. Open up your mouth and let's call them together and let heaven know what we really need. Jesus, Lord, my pastor need him. Oh, my first lady need him. Lord, my babies need him. Oh, me. He's with Heavenly Father. Okay, mama, I quit. I want you to pray for us tonight. Most grateful and everlasting God. We thank you, oh God. Thank you for the last Monday in this one, oh God. So many passed away, God. But you still keeping us alive. Knowing one day we got to leave this earth, oh God. We just thank you, God. Thank you for the family, oh God. Give them the strength, oh God. We know that you ain't even got all power. Thank you for my daughter, Marguerite, oh God. Give us strength, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Don't let her have no evil against nobody. Oh, I know it hurt God, but I know you're able. Not only her, it's so many parents, children have got shot and gone on. Give them strength, oh God, I know you're able. Look on the sick and the flick, oh God. Look on the street walk, oh God. Look on these young people, God. Realize, don't realize who God is, God. Please, I have mercy. Sin is have got in their heart. Tell it, kill it, and turn around and kill themselves. We thank you, God. We thank you for everything, God. Thank you for Pastor Timothy Rod. Thank you for all the ministers, oh God, that can your word, oh God. God, I thank you right now. You've been good to us, oh God. You brought us back in the house, God. Please, I have mercy, oh God. Look on the Marie family, oh God. Yes, Lord, you didn't do them no wrong, God. Please, I have my soul, oh God. Thank you for Darlene and them making it home. Without any harm or danger, you've been good to us. And we want to give you the praise. Thank you for Ann making it back home. God, you've been good. I thank you right now. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, that you've been good to us. Ask you to go with us in the name of Jesus. Bless this city, God. Bless our mayor, God. Bless our state representative, oh God. God bless our chief, oh God. Give him another chance, oh God. I know you're able. I know you got power. Don't let us have end, oh God, against one another. But let us help pull one another together. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hand together. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless all of you. Thank you. 
It's done. It is so. It is so. It is so. Help is here. Hallelujah. Help is here. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together for Jesus tonight? Hallelujah. It is a blessing. All of us to be here. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all doing good? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Mama, thank you so much for your prayers. What time is it? It's eight thirty. A little after 8.30? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say you're doing good, Pastor. Yes, Lord. Thank I'm you, Lord. almost Thank where I need to be. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My Lord. My Lord. I'm sorry. Y'all got to be the musician and everybody. If you got your Bibles, I want you to holler, I got my Bible. I got my Bible. Now, you know, we've been, Mama, to a few places. Yes, Lord. Last time we were at Bible study, I think we talked about Moses That's right. and the children of Israel. Yes, we did. And that was the kickoff of the homecoming That's right. spirit. Um, and for that, we had to stick a pen in the Bible study lesson, yes, which we're on the seventh commandment. Yes, and I apologize, y'all, for this being so long. It's okay. It's uh, right. But for after all, we, we were having to go, G, through all ten yes, of the commandments. Yes, uh, and that's something we as a people have not done in a long while. And we've not studied the Ten Commandments because uh, mainstream theology and Christianity promotes that Jesus died to deliver us from the love code. And so since Jesus delivered us from it, for many Christians, we have become antinomians. Okay. Okay. And that we are lawless. Yes, Lord. And we have an excuse My Lord. for being lawless. All right. And Jesus, Jesus is the excuse. But we learned a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. The real reason. Uh -huh, he died. What does that mean? Jesus died. My Lord. Okay, let us let's go mm -hmm. to um, the text for tonight. Okay. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come on with it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus did not die to excuse us. No, he did. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He did not die to excuse us. All right now. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Tonight, Mama, okay. I don't want to waste any more time. Go ahead. Go ahead and teach us. I want to talk about the seventh commandment, thou shalt not commit adultery. Okay. Now, in that, Mama... In that, all right. We've not, we've been talking about mm -hmm. the condition of our world, right? 
So we're supposed to be talking about thou shall not commit adultery, but we've gotten caught up into talking about the condition in which we live. Right. We talked about that for at least two weeks. We talked about our condition. We, we fessed up, mama. We faced the fact that most of us that are married, we know nothing about it. Most people that are married, if you would fess up, I didn't say all people, but most people that are married, you know nothing about marriage. Right. That's right. Other than it is better to marry than to burn. Beside that, you don't know nothing about marriage. That's right. So we have to face the fact that we know very little about being married. All right. Mama, it was so beautiful because God allowed us to hear from you, an okay. 84-year-old woman, Mano. and we allowed you to be 20 and 30. <laughs> and when we, when we went back and allowed you to be 30 and 20, we saw you as a young woman. All right. Hallelujah. Admitting that you too knew nothing about marriage. Mama, it was so beautiful because you told us you just wanted to get out of your father's house. That's right. That's right. And you fell into the arms mm -hmm. of a man. All right. And Mama told us about that man. <laughs> Lord, rest his soul. Yes, Lord. Um, my God. It was beautiful Jesus. to hear you talk about your life. Milo. So I said that to say we know nothing. Mm -mm. Mama even admitted it. We know nothing. Oh, I didn't know nothing about no marriage. You went to church. Yes. The preacher didn't hold a class on marriage. No, he didn't. No, he he didn't. just told you stop shacking. That's right. So if he told you stop shacking, then we got to find a way to legalize fornication. All right. That's right. So how do you make fornication legal? Mom. You make fornication legal by telling people to get married and they don't know what marriage is. That's the a lot of folk feel like they safe mm -hmm. because they're having sex Milo. in a sacred union. It's yes. called marriage. Milo. But mama, we don't get married for sex. That's right. Your relationship in a marriage ought not begin in the bed because if it begins in the bed, nine times out of ten, it's going to end in the bed. Ma, 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 ma. Lord Jesus. Seem like darling, marriage ought to start with the mind. All right. That's right. That's right. Start with the mind. Can I preach a while? Then? Go ahead. Start with the mind. Now, I want you to know that I am no marriage uh -huh. major. All right. Mama, I too, like them, uh -huh. woke up yeah. to the fact uh -huh. I got married when I was 17 years old. Sure did. Now, I sure enough had to wake up to the fact that I knew nothing about I marriage. Know man. Just getting out, that's right. That's 20 some years ago. I'm still with my wife. I'm still with my family, but at the age of 17, I got to admit that I know nothing about marriage. Nothing about marriage. Isn't that something? I ain't asking for no points tonight, Miss Rogers. But you ought to give me a little praise. Because even at the age of 17, not knowing what a husband was, my, my, my. playing a role that I had no clue All right about, All right. All right. then God allowed you to last long enough to try and find out and figure this thing yes, out. Sir. That was a blessing. That's a Can we talk a little while? I want us to admit this. Most of us that are married, most of us that have been married for a long, uh -huh. most of us that have been married a long time, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lord Jesus. we got to admit yes, Lord. that the marriage we have now 
we got it not because we knew what we was doing. Right. We got it because of trial and error. All right, all right, trial and error. That's all right. That's all and if it had not been for the right people in our ear, we would have been another case in divorce court. But thank God when we went through, we had the right people in our ears. Yes, sir. I like that. I like that, Pastor. I like that. That is right. You still together. You still together. Can I talk a little while? Yes, sir. Mama, I want to talk about this because I want us to admit, I want us to see this. And I got to deal with this because we're going somewhere tonight. All right now. All right. Mama, we're going somewhere tonight. All right. Come on. Come on. I want us to see something tonight, and before we go there, we got to bust this up. This got to be front and center. Okay. What is that? We know nothing. Now, this is what I want to say. Yes, Let me stick a pin in this. Now, on this program, Mama, uh -huh. we're going to have some marriage programs. Okay. You know, some relationship programs. That's what we're going to do. We can't do that all in one night. All right. That's right. That's right. So we can't talk about marriage and adultery. That's right. Now that's right. That's you see what I'm saying? Because we're going to be all day on this one subject. That's right. And we got some more commandments to explore. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> I promise you I got it at the top of my list that we got we to gotta talk about marriage. That's good. That's because... Uh, Curtis, we live in a we live in a unhappy generation. That's right. That's right. Everybody married is not happy. Mama, hey, hey, hey. we are living in a unhappy generation. That's right. Unhappy. People who are married and miserable. God does not want you married and miserable. Can somebody put it in the thread if you heard what I said? God does not want you married and miserable. Now I'm going somewhere. Stay with me, darling. God don't want you uh -uh. married at any cost. That's right. Man can't even sit down and talk to you, man. <laughs> that ain't no marriage. That's not a marriage. Look like I'm going to need, but y'all got to at least give me another week on it because. Yeah, I don't care if you get another month on it. <laughs> look like. All we need is. Look need like. staying together three months. Ah, mm -hmm. my God. Well, that's the truth. So, mama, we got to talk. Yeah, talk. So, God don't want you married. Uh -huh. Put it in the thread. Follow and be miserable. Be miserable. That's right. If you married, you ought to be married. That's right. That's right. Follow. That's so true. Yes, Lord. Be happy. Yes. Yeah, you happy when you walk it down the aisle. But look at... Notice, Mama, we've been we've been talking about the world in which we live. Yes, sir. Lord Jesus. We put more money in the wedding than we do in the marriage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We spend no money on the marriage, all the money on the wedding. All right. Now that's the truth. We spend most of our time planning the wedding, and we spend zero time planning the marriage. Yes, sir. Can I talk some more? Yeah, talk. So, to my point, okay. I know. we know nothing uh -huh. about marriage. No, nothing about marriage. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Not that we cannot know, uh -huh. but since we are Christians, come on now. Since we are black Christians. Uh -huh. Since we are black Christians in the wilderness of America, uh -huh. whether you know it or not, that means a lot. All right. Milo. Because where you're from carries a mindset. All right. Milo. And if you are a black man and black woman yes. in America, Milo. your ideal of marriage was based 
of the church, the Bible, and the preacher. All right. Hello. And the preacher told us nothing about marriage. He just said, stop shacking. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's the truth. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Lord Jesus. But, Mama, I want, I want us to know that marriage is a... Yes, sir. Marriage is a big deal. It is. It's an honor. Yes, sir. Mama, I didn't know this 20 some years ago. Milo. I didn't know this at the age of 17, but marriage was a big deal. It was. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Marriage. But I got married because I wanted to legalize fornication. My, 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 my. You can't fix it till you face it. Me and Miss Rogers was doing what grown folk do. <laughs> and the church that I was going to, you couldn't do what grown folk did unless you were married. That's right. Unless you were married. So most of our reasons for getting married uh -huh. so we can do what grown folk do That's right. legally. But again, I say, Mama, you don't get married for sex. No, you don't. No, you don't. It'll run out. It'll run out, y'all. Oh. Come on, man. You don't get married for sex. No, you don't. I mean, it's a part of it. Yes, Lord. But if I'm going to be with somebody for the rest of my life, to death do us part, the least I ought to be, the least I can do is make sure they ain't crazy. <laughs> all right, now, all right. You mean I'm going to be with you the rest of my life? I need to be trying to find out, are you crazy? <laughs> are you a lunatic? All right, now. How slow are you? That's because uh -huh. we get married on looks. All right. Yeah, you're right. She fine. Yeah. Fine don't give out. But you can't get married because she fine. That's right. That's right. Because in a little while, if she keep on living and keep on cooking and eating with you, that Coca-Cola bottle of shape is going to look like a two liter in a little bit three liter. Talk to me, somebody. It ain't going to be as curved and... You don't get married for that. Right. It's time for us to marry brains. Yes. That's right. That's right no, come on, man. Those of you who are not married, hear my voice. Don't just be getting married to legalize fornication. Right. Don't just be getting married because you hot. It's time to start marrying the mind. That's right. That's right. The mind. And most of us that have spouses, we do not know the mind like we know their body. Man, yes, Lord. If you talking about getting married, uh huh. Lord you Lord. around here talking about how much you paying for tux and My Lord. how much you paying for the church and yes, Lord. how much you paying for the cake and the, yes. the dress and the rings. I mean, you got it all planned out, My Lord. My Lord. but you never thought once My Lord. that after you say I do, the wedding is over. And the marriage begins. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The marriage begins. My God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he happened. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We, Greg G., we know nothing about marriage. Nothing about marriage. We 
we were just getting married for wrong reasons. We, we wanted to get married because we didn't want to sleep alone. That's right. We wanted to get married because we, we saw our sister. She was smiling at her boo. <laughs> Not knowing that the sister that's smiling is smiling around you. Pastor Frank Ray. Yes, Lord. Pastor Frank Ray said marriage is like flies on a on a on a string though. The ones on the inside trying to get out. And the ones on the outside trying to get in. Somebody holler, holler, Lord, teach me marriage. Lord, teach me marriage. He taught me that marriage. Hallelujah. He taught me marriage. Mama, we're going to turn you loose and let you talk yeah. to us too. Yeah. Because we got to talk about what. Mama, we know. Mama said, I don't. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, listen, listen. I, I got I to gotta get y'all out of here. So we know nothing about marriage. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We get married to maniacs. That's right. Say that again. Kill them. We get married to the homeless. Yes, right. You can't even see him. The only reason why he wants you is because it's cold. <laughs> yes, sir. Lord Jesus. You want to keep him because don't, you don't want to sleep alone. My Lord. Put a pillow behind you. <laughs> Mama said, put a pillow behind you. It'll make you feel warm. Yeah. Lord Jesus. You know, everybody don't get married for that reason, but you... Some folk get married because they're homeless. That's right. That's right. They get married because you got the roof. That's right. That's right. It's cold. That's right. So now women coming around the corner. Okay. It's a whole lot of people about to be nice. I know. Thank you, Lord. It's cold. So we know nothing about marriage, man. Yes. <laughs> so since we understand that, mama, can we move yeah. on? Yeah, move on. Lord Jesus, move on. Now, thank you, Lord. The seventh commandment, uh -huh. mama, is uh -huh. thou shall not commit, commit adultery. adultery. Now, Mama, I want to do this slow. Go ahead, go ahead. Because you know the name of the program is is called Another Look. Another Look. Is that right? That's right. Another Look. Um, That's right. <laughs> it's called Another Look. Another Look. So, my, my Lord. I want us to look at this. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Another Look. So, Mama, the name of the program is called Another Look. Another look. Same book. Same book. We're just going to do what we uh -huh. haven't always done. Okay. Examine it closely uh -huh. and let it uh -huh. say what it says. Okay. Okay. I like that. Without us reading into the scriptures. Yes. Yes. Come on. Uh, put it in the thread if you heard what I said. Let the Bible speak for itself. That's right. Free the Bible Free so the Bible can tell its own story. story. Right. My Lord. Now, Mama, Thank you, Lord. number one, okay. number one. we Lord. admitted that we didn't know nothing about marriage. Nothing about it. That's right. Nothing about it. Nothing. Not anything. So if you don't know, Pat, nothing about marriage, you don't know nothing about adultery. That's right. Did y'all hear what I said? Yes, sir. 
I said, if you can admit, uh -huh. Pastor Tim, I don't know, I didn't know nothing about marriage. Yes, well, if you didn't know nothing about marriage, you ought to admit that you don't know nothing about adultery. That's Mama, if you ask the average saint uh -huh. or individual, what is adultery? Milo. What is it, darling? Tell me what adultery is. Tell me. Milo. Mama said, I mean, Darlene says sleeping around on your husband. Milo. Anybody else? Milo. Anybody else? What is adultery? Milo. Being, Mama Wells says, being unfaithful to one another. Anybody else want to give us a nutshell of a definition of, a, of adultery? Milo. Anybody else? Milo. So, this is what I want us to do. Okay. We've heard of adultery. Yes. And we got some kind of idea about, it. Yes, sir. about adultery. That's right. But all oh, I need y'all to come close, and I need y'all to come close, and I need y'all to lean in and come close. All right. Watch this. What is adultery? What is adultery? Okay. So, Mama, this is what I did. I had to take another look. Take another look. And I had to let the Bible uh -huh. tell its own story. Okay. So what I did was, uh -huh. what is? Uh -huh. A question. Yes, I had to find out, Mama. My my assignment was, what is the Hebrew definition for adultery? Now again, I'm going to show you how much you know about marriage. You don't know nothing about it. I ain't got to really prove that to you because you admitted it yourself. <laughs> Come on with it, Pastor. So what is adultery? You who are in the cyber sanctuary, if you got a device, yes, Lord. right now I want you to put it in your search engine. What is the Hebrew definition for adultery? Just put it in your search engine. And let's, let's discover the definition of adultery. All you got to put in the search engine is the Hebrew definition for adultery. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For the Old Testament is Hebrew. The words of Moses is Hebrew. That's right. So if Moses says, thou shalt not commit adultery, uh -huh. that's Hebrew writing. That's right. So if Moses says, thou shalt not commit adultery, you need to know what adultery means right. concerning the mind of Moses. Because we didn't write the Ten Commandments. Moses did it, did it as God spoke to him. That's right. On my side. And mama noticed what he did. He spoke. He spoke within his time. Right. He spoke within that culture. All right, in that culture. That's right. Did y'all hear what I said? Yes, sir. Yeah. So when Moses says, thou shalt not commit adultery, uh -huh. he wasn't thinking like you. Okay, okay. Milo. We got to define adultery. Now, a lot of y'all... Milo. Y'all going to blame me, but I think I'm ready for that anyway. Okay. You're going to blame me for uh -huh. seeing what I see, but okay. it's going to be okay Milo. because it's the Holy Writ. Okay. If you look up the word adultery in the Hebrew, mama, uh -huh. the word adultery is interpreted to refer to sexual relations between a man and a married woman. Now, I know it's going to get right. quiet right. right up and through here. That's right. Yes, 
because we always think men are trying to get away with something. But this is not a case of a man trying to get over or get away with something. This is you looking at the Bible in its purest form. Yes, sir. You're letting the scriptures say what it said. Wow. So if you define adultery in the Hebrew, mm -hmm. adultery means sexual intercourse That's right. or sexual relations between a man and a married woman. Nope, let's say it again. And you can't jump down my throat like I wrote the definition. Yes, right. You can't jump down my throat like I was on Mount Sinai and I put it on the tablet of stone. No. I did not do it. That's right. That's right. That's right. I did not do it. Moses went up there 3,000 years ago, talked to God, and put, Thou shalt not commit adultery in stone. That's right, in the stone. That's right. That's true. Lord Jesus. Can I talk, Mama? Yes, sir. So adultery means. Oh, they done, you done messed them up. I know, Mama, it's heavy, too. You done messed them up. It's heavy, too. And I know. I want to talk, that's why, that's why I wanted to it's talk hot, to you, it's hot now. that we're going to talk about marriage because okay. we got a lot of unhappy people in that's marriage. Right. But wait a minute, let's rewind back. You don't know nothing about marriage. All right, all right. Remember, you admitted it yourself. You know nothing about marriage. So if you know nothing about marriage, you know nothing about adultery. That's right. Yeah, you're right. But it is tonight. That you and I get a chance to take another look. Another look. That's right. And this time we don't take what the preacher said. We don't take what the marriage seminar said. Now we're doing this from what we swear by. My, 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 my. That's right. Lord G. Lord G. G, we swear by the Bible. My Lord. Our whole life is hinged on the Bible. That's right now. That's right. We won't do it until the Bible says. But mama, I've discovered we've got a lot of rules and regulations that we put around the Bible. All right, around the Bible. But tonight we're not hanging around the Bible. We are in the Bible. All right. All right now. All right. My Lord. So you look it up. It's going to bring it up on your phone too. My Lord. According to Hebrew definition, mm -hmm. adultery is sexual relation between a man and a, and a let's say it slow a man and a married woman that's right that's right that's right the man can be single that's right but if he mess with another man's wife that is adultery that's right that's right now a man can be married if he mess with another man's wife, that is adultery. That's right. Because according to the scriptures, adultery is not a. <laughs> Milo. Yeah. Milo. That's right. I gotta say this slow. Yes, Lord. You got five and six. It's kind of heavy. I know, Mama. It's kind of heavy. Yes, it's, no, it's it kind of heavy. heavy. And, and Mama said they got five and six women, but yes. you gotta understand the last. Bible study that we had, we went to Isaiah chapter 4. That's right. And when we went, went to Isaiah chapter 4, this is, this is not strange. Isaiah chapter 4 says when your world is on its last leg, you're going to have problems with your women and your men. That's right. Seven women to one man. So let's look at this. Yes, Lord. You said it. That's right. Adultery. Is a man having sexual relation with a married woman? Uh, that's right. Now I know some people say, "Well, ain't that weird? No, ain't that is. ain't that off? Uh, don't that ain't that bias? My don't that don't that seem like it's you know pro men and anti women? Mm -hmm. You see, well, we wasn't there in Mount Sinai. No, we wasn't. No, we wasn't. Talk to me, somebody. All right. We did not write these things. Hallelujah. That's 
That's right. And now you're wondering what's wrong with your marriage. All right. It's because you want to practice marriage and not know what it is. All I want you to know, mama, okay. there is what I would call an American way. My Lord, America way. And before you guys get mad at me and say, Tim, then lost his mind. He crazy. No, 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 no. You come back here. All right now. Let me talk to you tonight. Talk to us. Talk to us, Pastor. Talk to us. Ooh, mama. Oh, no, this good. This good. This going to help the world. I want y'all to see this. Milo. Milo. <laughs> you don't know what it is. Milo, the preacher got him too. You didn't sign up. Yes, sir. For something you wasn't ready for. All right. There's an American way. American. Before you get mad at me. All right. Just know. We can have it either way. All right. I'm not promoting anything. Okay. The only thing I'm responsible for, Mama, okay. is giving a clear exposition on the word of God. Uh -huh. And when you look at the word adultery, it means sexual relation between a man and a married woman. I can't change that. All right. Y'all stop it tonight. Get your wife. Watch this. <laughs> Get your wife. I can't change that. All right. But that was an American way. All right. American way. See, our problem, mama, is uh -huh. this is what we do. Okay. Let me show you what we do. Okay. We live. In the western part of the world. That's what you said, the western part. America is considered the western part of the world. The western part of the world. But the book that you swear by, this is not a western book, this is an eastern book. So if this is an eastern book, that means its ways are not the west ways. A little bit. Preach, preach, preach. I want to talk about this, Mama, because uh -huh. many of us we fail to look at this. Okay. We told our Eastern Good. book. Milo. We swear by. Show sure do. Show sure do. Nobody do it. We swear by this book. That's we ain't going to do nothing in life unless we consider this book. That's right. That's right. That's really true. But what we miss it at, Mama, is uh -huh. this book is an Eastern book. Uh, Eastern book. What you say? Moses was from the East. Milo, not from the West. What you say? <laughs> Jesus was from the East. Well, you don't live in the east. You just tote the book. My Lord. Lord, help us tonight. And you know very little about what you told me. My God, my God. Lord, take another look. Yes, sir. Lord. There's a western way. The Western way says adultery is infidelity between the two. Okay. But that's not what Moses said. All right, all right. Moses says adultery is sexual relation between a man and a married woman. My Lord. What you say? Now, Mama. Uh uh, it's good for me. I don't doubt you, honey. Mama. I can't, I can't stay there long because I don't want, I don't want women to hate me as if I'm trying to bust up something. But you can't fix it until you face it. That's right. That's right. See, you trying to sign up for something. You want, you want God to make you feel good about it. Okay. 
So you want to sign up for it and then you want God to bless it. But the only way your marriage is going to be blessed, you got to understand what that is. Now, mama, that definition makes sense. Yes, right. it does. It does. Now, when I say it makes sense, I'm only saying that it makes sense mm -hmm. to the scriptures. It, yeah. For after all, come here. Mm -hmm. Come on, back. Look at David. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Go back to him. David had many wives. So did, so did, so did. He was at the hour of God. David had many wives, and the Bible never once condemns it. Why? Because David understood the scriptures. My God. And whoever know the scriptures, if you're going to do this right, you must know the scriptures. That's right. You said get on the, all you get, get so David yes, Lord. had many wives. So Darlene, David is not an adulteress because he got some other women. What you say? David, you got to say this slow. And y'all, God knows I don't. I didn't want to talk about this because it's it's subjects like this that make people hate you. We need to know stuff. Yes, Benz. Backwards. Yes, Lord. Tell it. Cause David showed me he killed him. David did not watch this. You don't call David an adulteress because he got some more wives. David is only an adulteress because he took another man's wife. That's right. He showed he killed her. He killed her. David had some other wives, yeah. and the Bible does not condemn him for that. Okay. David is only condemned when he take Uriah's wife. That's right. A wife that belonged to another man. Well, you know, uh, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of, mama, a lot of people, you know, a lot of Christian people, especially we as Christians, we try to make, we try to act like we can't deal with a man if he got somebody else. We act like we just can't, you know, we can't get with that. He, but look how hypocritical we are. We we shout about David stuff every week. You love the Lord as my shepherd. You know who wrote that? A man that had many wives and he took another man's wife. That's right. You love. Make a joy for no. Unto the Lord. All ye lads serve the Lord with. You love those songs. Who wrote them? Don't come here acting like you can't get with people because you know they got this one and that one. David was the apple of God's eye. He was a man after God's own heart. That's right. He coming, Jesus coming to line of David. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. You show him telling the truth. So David, it makes sense to the scriptures because yes. David is not an David is not an adulteress because he's got his other wives. Yes. He's an, an adulteress because he took Uriah's wife. Because adultery in the Hebrew means sexual relation between a man and a married woman. What makes David and Bathsheba adulterous? Because Bathsheba was married to Uriah. That's right. Boy, this is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, you explain. To God be glory. Yes, tell the truth. Let's come to Jesus in John oh, chapter right. 7. John chapter 7. There, there was a woman. That's right. That's right. John chapter 7. That's right. Beginning of chapter 8. Uh -huh. There was a woman that was caught. In a dirt. In a dirt. 
Come on, Pastor. That's right. John 7, yeah. Now, if the man should have come. Uh-huh. Riri said you would think. Uh-huh. If the man was supposed to come, seemed like Jesus would have asked for him. That's right. Lord, help him tonight. Help him. I'm preaching and I'm talking, oh, but yeah. y'all stuck and ain't said nothing oh, back to me. Yeah. Jesus never once asked, where was the man? No, he didn't. He did not. He put the woman. Now, I don't take this story, mama, as a literal happening either. Okay. John, the gospel of John is the only gospel that records this particular story. And the reason why John writes this particular story and decorates it is because he wanted Jesus to say, I am the light of the world. And in order to get Jesus to say, I am the light of the world, the writer had to find somebody that was living in darkness. My God! <laughs> what you say, Pastor? If Jesus is going to say, I am the light of the world, that means you get, the writer got to find somebody that was living in darkness All right now. that need this light. So the woman that was caught in adultery, Mama Jackson, was brought to Jesus. Because the Pharisees wanted to show Jesus how she was living in darkness. That's right. But God didn't rebuke her. They was about to kill her. So what's the case here? She's about to be stoned to death because she married. I wish I had some help in here. She's about to die because she's married and belong to another man. That's right, another man. You right about that, honey. You right about that. And oh, thank God for Jesus. Oh, I thank him. I thank him. Because one day he forget, he forgave a woman that got caught with another man. Jesus says, ye that will out sin, cast the first stone. What Jesus was trying to say is, it's time out for killing her for what y'all been doing all the time. Okay, mama, I can't stay long. Somebody say, you know, yes, Lord. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, yes. see, you were supposed, we were supposed to find this out before we said, I do. I do. That's right. Now, since we said, I do, without having a clue. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Now we aching. That's right. That's right. We're not happy. No, you ain't happy. We fighting. Every time you say At one another's throat. That's right. Now I'm going, but next week I guess I'll back out here. That's all right. Because this is good. This is good. You ought to shout about it. Yes, Lord. This is good, Pastor. Yes, Lord. Yes, it's good. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians says, mm -hmm. I was in the Shower today, letting the text read to me. Okay. And Mama Ephesians says, Paul says, Wives, submit thyselves. That's what he said. To your husband. That's what he said. That's what he said. As to the Lord. That's what he said. Abraham's wife called him love. That's right. Pat, mm -hmm. this is why you ought not engage in marriage, marriage so quickly because 
whenever you get married, marriage consists of you submitting. Darlene, that's the first reason why you ought to investigate marriage. Because marriage, in t marriage involves you submitting yourself. Now, Mama, I was just, I was just in the shower, just thinking. I said, you know what? When I was seventeen, I don't think Miss Rogers submitted to me. But submission is a part of marriage. Baby, I promise you, we're going to get it right. We, like, we not together this long to miss it and die at the doorstep. Yeah. Are y'all listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. That's the truth. Lord, you. Oh, this I don't think she submitted to me. She, know, she knew nothing about what submission was. That's Woman, sister, you out there, you ran to get married. You want what your girl got. You want what you see everybody else. Listen, do what they didn't do. Investigate it before you say, I do. That's right. That's right now. Now God knows because some of them hate their marriage. Oh, come on. Mama, can you, can you imagine how many preachers in bed with women they don't want to be in the bed with they just married because of how I look y'all that's right, that's right. <laughs> I'm preaching but y'all left me right there to hang by myself there's a lot of people in position they only married because of how it looks so now the preacher feel like he gotta get a woman or he feel like he gotta get married if he's leading a church so now, his thing is, I got to look for some legs. I ain't got the lover, I just got to do it so it can look good. And then when you get married, she don't want nothing to do with you in your church. That's right. Say that again. They won't even... And now she's, Greg, she's bored. Because when you come home, you can't talk to your own woman about what you love. Because she's disinterested in what you are interested in. That's right. They don't even speak to one another. Then they telling you how to live. Can you imagine how miserable most men are going to bed? You can talk to everybody but your wife. I mean, your wife is just a dud. She don't. She sleep all the time. She watch on the phone, running them out. You can't. She's not into nothing. You into. And wondering why you always outside saying, hey, Miss Parker. <laughs> well, Miss Parker is in a Miss <laughs> <laughs> Parker is listening to him. Miss Parker is saying, tell me more about it. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. Can y'all imagine how many people miserable, man? That's right. Miserable. Yes, Lord. Smiling for the camera. All right. It is in the heart. Smiling because it's anniversary. That's right. <laughs> Sleeping in the next room. I mean, don't even sleep in the same bed together, but we're taking pictures for the camera. Well, I'm through. Boy, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. You tell me the truth. You tell me the truth. The reason why, Riri, you ought to pay attention to marriage because marriage involves you submitting. That's right, to your husband. And only to your husband. But wait a minute, mama. Yes, we're We're supposed to submit to our husband. Yes, Watch this. 
as to the Lord. Lord. That's what he said, to the Lord. So the head of man is Christ. That's right. And the head of woman is the man. That's right. But the man ain't got no business being head of the woman if Christ ain't his head. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm preaching, but you leaving me out here by myself. Man is the head of woman. Christ is the head of man. And if the man, if Christ is not the head of the man, you are not. You're not supposed to be submitting and giving yourself to Chris. That's right. Because Chris don't want you. That's right. You're supposed to give yourself to a man like Christ, not Chris. That's right. I like that. Boy, I like that. So the men that we've been marrying, they ain't been like Christ. No, they ain't. They the devil. <laughs> We're just submitting ourselves to fools. That's right. And wondering why we didn't waste all of these years married and we still unhappy. That's right. Trying to find a way to get out. That's right. The reason why you ought to pay attention to marriage is because marriage involves you, woman. It involves you submitting. Submitting yourself. You gotta give your life. That's right. That's right. Now that's you gotta give up your will and put it in the hands of a man. That's right. But the Bible told you that man needs to be like a Christ. That's Paul said that man needs to be like a savior to his own family. Whatever Jesus was to the church, Paul says that's what the man ought to be for his house. That's right. That's right. Now God knows that. And we catch in hell because of who we've submitted to. We're submitting to Chris. When Paul says we ought to submit to a man like Christ. Brother, yes, Lord. that's why your woman loves church so much. Because she's looking like a, she's looking for a man like Christ. My, my, my and any man that's in love with Christ, she's in love with. All right, all right. I'm trying to help somebody, but y'all leaving me. I said that the reason why there's so many women that are in church is because she's looking for a man like Christ. And any man that loves Christ, she's in love with him. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's good, Pastor. That's good. That is good. It's good. Yes, it's good. The world, the world. Stop making your husband compete with your pastor. That's right. That's right. That's right. Some of us give our pastors more praise than we give our husbands. All right, all right. And then wonder why he don't like coming to church. <laughs> if the pastor asks for a pie, you're fixing it in. I'm, I'm talking about you're in the kitchen. You got ten. He asks you for something to take you two weeks to cook. You hear pastor. I hear pastor. Yeah, but the husband, you ain't fixing him nothing. Now God knows. Stop making the brother compete with your pastor. That's right. You're not going to draw him close by making him feel like he's less than because he's not like the pastor. So you mad at the brother because you know who he messing with. Ain't no telling what's going on with the preacher. Just because you don't know the business don't mean they ain't got no business. You see, Mama, we it's we good for the world. you know it's good for the world. It's good for the world. You know, 
Sometimes, Lord, you know, I feel like we like people, yes, Lord. you know, Lord, for what we don't know about them. All right, and I'm God. going, God bless you. Lord, you would think that we like people because of what we know about them. My Lord. But you know what I've discovered, Mama Wells? We like people because of what we don't know. All right. That we don't know nothing about. That's right. No, I said something, but y'all missed it. Oh, I said, you would think you would like a person because of what you know about them. Uh -uh. no. But I've discovered we like people because of what we don't, don't know. know about it. That's right. Don't know about it. So as long as we don't know, we love you. That's right. But when we do know. As yes. long as we don't know, you anointed. Ooh, she brought the house down. <laughs> See, we can say that as long as we don't know. Oh, can't he preach? Oh, girl, he preached. We'll say that as long as we don't know. Oh, didn't God meet us? We'll say all that as long as we don't know. And soon as we know, the same people that were shouting us will be sitting around acting like we can't feel the spirit. And the only reason why you can't feel the spirit, not because the spirit was there or absent, you can't feel the spirit because of what you know. Oh, you would think you like people because of what you know about them, but I've discovered we love people because of what we don't know. I'm going to pick back up on that, and I can't stay on it long because yeah. I'm not the marriage major. And I promise y'all, if y'all if y'all stay on this journey with me, yes, Lord. you know, you know, my marriage is happy. Which I, at least I think I, we are. I am. I ain't. I ain't walking around kicking rocks because I'm married. I, I love my family. I love my children. I love my wife. So next week I want to talk from Ephesians. I want to talk mm -hmm. about Paul, and I want to talk about what marriage really consists of. And I wanted to point out today that marriage consists of you submitting yourself. So that's why you got to be careful of, of, of getting married, because when you get married, that means you have to submit yourself to another mind. And the mind that you're submitting yourself to is supposed to be greater than yours. You ain't got no business submitting yourself to a fool. That's right. That's right. Talking about eyes married. Yeah, because he getting you his check now. <laughs> Before you get married, when he get him, he ain't going to give you nothing. <laughs> it just stopped. <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus if you love him tonight. Listen, did y'all really enjoy yourself tonight? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what was your conclusion tonight, Pastor Tim? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want to say we know nothing about marriage. Nothing about marriage. For many of us, we knew nothing about marriage. We and we're learning now, and we, most of us that are still married, we, we got here by trial and error. That's right. But imagine how beautiful your relationship would be only if you invested time and knowledge into it. That's right. Yes, right. That's now, I want every husband out there yes, Lord. and every brother out there that's planning on being a husband tonight, I want us to make a vow that we're going to step up our game. All right, all right. Step up the game. And stepping up our game means yes, that we're going to get into... What a husband really entails. All right. Because if you're going to wear the name husband, I want to be the best one Miss right. Rogers ever had. All right, all right. That's right. That's right. I thank the Lord. That's right. Yes, Lord. So nobody's judging nobody here. Nobody judging nobody. We just got to admit that we know very little about this. And now, bruh, it's time. Preacher, you too? That's right. That's right. You might as well come on out the closet. Missionary, come on out. Yes. Come Some on. of us are. Yes. 
And we're not talking about the ones that are happy. The ones that are happy, can we just give them a hand? The ones that are in love and you figured it out. God bless you. And may God keep y'all. Yes, but then there are so many, yes, Lord. So many that are on one leg. That's right. Ain't hard on one leg. Marriage is miserable. Yes, it is. And they home. They ain't even happy, y'all. They ain't happy. Come on, where are all my brothers that come on, holler, Lord, make me a better man. Come on, y'all, man. Lord, make me a better man. I want my wife to see it. I want my daughters to see it. I want my son to see it. Make me a better man. Come on, women. Repeat after me. Lord, make me a better woman. Woman, you got to step up your game. And you step up your game by investing time and brain and knowledge into what it means to be a wife. And stop spending your time talking to folk who ain't got nobody at all. Yes, child. They don't know. Come on, man. We get we seem to get the most advice from the from people who can't get. And then we quick to say, I can have anybody. Well, why you ain't got nobody? You can't fix it till you face it. Put your hands together for Jesus if you love him. I'm through. Oh, God bless y'all. So y'all know we got a lot of work to do, right? Yes, sir. So... Yeah, I just touched on that tonight, yeah, but next week we're gonna go we're gonna go to town on it. And woman, I, that's that's the first thing I wanted to pick up. You ought to you ought to pay attention to what marriage is because right. marriage involves you submitting yourself. But Paul never said submit yourself to a fool. He said submit yourself to a mind like. Christ. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy yourself. Mama, you want to say something else tonight? No. I don't have to. I submit myself to my husband. I didn't date on my husband. I was one wife to my husband after I got the second. God bless you, Mama. I didn't even date on the other one. Yeah. A girl was going with my husband and the boys, the man, her husband told me, said, well, me and you can date. I said, no, I don't want you. <laughs> Mama said, no, I don't want you. I don't want you. He dead now, but he know I'm telling the truth. But you know, we, like you said, we should submit ourselves to our own husband. One thing, Rev and I, we went together. I didn't have to go to prayer meeting by myself, leaving my husband at home. Stop leaving your husband at home. <laughs> you don't know what they may be doing at home. I know a lot of men that left their wife. They stay. We used to have prayer meeting all night. We don't do that no more. And the husband went off and left the woman, and now the woman went back to the world. But when, when what you do, if your husband come out to grab me a few nights and go on back home. <laughs> My daughter said now, your baby sister, she went away pretty. She said she loved a man. She, she came back crippled, y'all. <laughs> run your 
She didn't have no mind. You have to watch these men. <laughs> and I'm going to die like I am. I'm 84 and I don't need no man. But I tell all young women, these men will have you crippled. <laughs> And they'll have you mindless. And I vibrate it because the women do the same thing. But I'm telling you, don't get no man because he's giving you his check. Men, as long as they housekeep with you, look like they treat you better. Time you get married, it's a change. In that house. And that's all I got to say. God bless. Y'all give mama a hand. Will you give mama a hand? Mama, God bless you. And thank you. Thank you. And, and you know, y'all hold me to this. I'm going to do a whole program on marriage. And since I'm not the marriage major, I'm going to bring in some marriage majors. All right. And I'm going to get out the way because I don't know everything. Hallelujah. And I'm going to let them teach us well, and let them going, talk to all of us. I'm going home and run this marriage down. <laughs> I don't go by anything from there. I go and read myself. Come on, mama. Come on. Come on. Come on. And the And ain't, boy, isn't the word of God beautiful? Yes, it is. Yes, so instead of us complaining about this, this, and the other, yes, adultery and all that, we're going to. Figure out what marriage is. That's right. And see if we can become better spouses. That's right. And for those of you who are not married, Pat, let's see if we can become better spouse material. That's right. That's all we have for being Hallelujah. Married. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. You did a great thing. God bless you, Mama. Mama, I ain't gonna lie, I was kinda scared and kinda heavy no, you don't about talking about this because no. you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mama Nancy said, that's right, talk about it. That's right, because when you get married, you want to be happy. Yes. You don't want to be miserable. Yes. You can't sleep at night. Yes. So when this wall got them, hug, submit yourself if you can. And watch this, Mama, we got to remember to tell them, that Paul never expected no woman to submit to a fool. That's right. The scripture says, submit yourself to your husband as to the Lord. He is supposed to have a mind like Christ. That's right. If I'm to give my life and myself to him. And some some men are in they some men are some men are in their wife's mouth more than the dentist. <laughs> Every time you see it, they bust them across the face and the mouth. Now I'm just right. but for real. But for real. Pray for all of our sisters right. uh, who are in relationships and such, and we pray for all of you. Yes. Listen, this is the truth of God. This is not my ideal. No. This is the truth of God. If we're going to enjoy things like marriage, right. then we probably need to investigate. Yes what this is That's right. before we go to saying I do, I do. That's right. That's right. all right oh, mama I'm about to uh, let us go tonight listen I got a few announcements Pooh, can you give me can you give me Tampa Florida's flyer I'll be in Tampa I leave pray for me I leave in the morning I'm headed back to Florida to to drive me and my family back to Arkansas. Praise the Lord, praise the so Lord. So pray for me and my children as we journey back yes. from Tampa. Boy, I'm going to miss Tampa, but mama, I'm coming home with you. All right, all right, all right. Um, I'm coming home with you. And um, Wednesday night, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, yes, Lord. Wednesday night, uh, can you pull, pull that flyer up for me, Pooh? I need that. I need that flyer. My Lord. 
Wednesday night. And, and Yvette, thank you guys. Those of you who are giving already, I want to say thank you. I see it. I see it. Those of you who are preparing yourself to give, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Wednesday night, I'll be in Tampa, Florida. Pooh, can I get this put up? It's a, okay. It's going to come here in a second. Listen, I hope y'all can see that. Uh, Wednesday night, uh, I'll be among some great preachers. So I want you to get the information uh, from this flyer. If you are in the Tampa Bay area, make sure you get to church Wednesday night. Matter of fact, Wednesday is my last day in town in Tampa. And um, I get a chance to share with my brothers and sisters there in Tampa, Florida. And, um, and um, I hope y'all got the information and I hope y'all can see it too because it's kind of small. Okay. Y'all make sure, I want I want people to keep it up long enough so y'all can get the address. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, you may have some people in the area that want to uh, come in church with us. Uh, make sure you give them the address and let them know we'll be in Tampa Wednesday night. And um, Valerie Minor, thank you so much. I see you. I'm about to start calling out some of you who are uh, participating in the ministry of giving tonight. And um, I want the other one. I'm, I'm also in L.A. this weekend, Mama, so I'm not going to be at church Sunday. That's all right. We're going to call Pastor Jack. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm going to do that. And uh, I'm going to uh, see about uh, uh, my friend in Compton, uh, California, uh, the land of... <laughs> Mama says, send him back. Yes, Lord. Pooh, I need that other flyer when it comes up. Yes. Pooh going to give us the other flyer. Okay. Rhonda Cunning, man, thank y'all so much. I see y'all coming in. I see y'all coming in. I see y'all participating in the ministry of giving. Thank if y'all believe yes. in what's happening yes, sir. on this channel, yes, I want you to show us by being a support. Some of you have been doing that since we've been coming on. And for that, we want to say... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And even those of you who are in uh, the physical sanctuary, we thank you yes. so much yes. for, um, thank you so much. Pooh, have we put the uh, one from California up? Can I get that? Linda Davis, thank you so much. I'll be in Compton, California. That's Sunday. And uh, I don't know, Mama, but I'm going. It's a bad storm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the pilot won't get up if, if it's not fit for us to go. But, you know, other than that, we're going, we're going to the, I hope y'all see the flyer. We're going to, if you know anybody in L.A., Compton region, uh, let them know we're going to be at the land of Jericho Sunday. That is ex exactly right. I'm, so, I'm thinking I'm supposed to be at Praises of Zion that morning, too. So, y'all keep up with me this weekend. I'll be back Monday. Nothing can keep me from it. That's exactly right. I am coming to Bible study. I got a long week. I got to play. I got to play carpenter. I got to play mover. And I got a whole bunch to do. And I want y'all to pray for me. Why, when y'all talk to God, pray for Tim Rogers. Okay. Thank you so much, Pooh. I'm going. Uh, uh, we are... Uh, We've already, we've already done, um, yeah, we, oh, we mama, <laughs> Bunny Godfrey, thank you so much, Tony, thank you so much, y'all please be a blessing tonight, be a blessing tonight, I just need y'all to be a blessing tonight, be a blessing tonight, help us build this program, help us build this program. Hallelujah. Help us build this program. Help us build this program. Thank you so much. Brenda Barnes, I see you. Thank you so much for your contribution. Y'all, I'm going. God bless you. Stand to your feet. Lord, we thank you.
thank you for all of these souls that are under the sound of my voice I thank you tonight thank you for your word your word is true thank you tonight we're preparing ourselves to go down from this place keep us until we meet again we thank you for every giver we ask that you bless everything they touch in the name of Jesus we pray for them great and small we thank you we thank you and we love you come on put your hand together thank you so much be a blessing be a blessing take somebody remind them be a blessing hold oh. oh yeah I want to play that one more time. One more time and I'm going, mama. I pray that tonight your sleep is sweet. Everybody ought to hold to his hand. God's unchained. God bless you, mama. I enjoyed you tonight. Thank you so much. That's exactly right. Everybody all the home to him. God bless y'all tonight. I pray for all of the marriages. All over the relationships, all over the world. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. And I'm praying for you. Hallelujah. The worst is over. You've come this far by faith. I'm praying for you. Everybody on the home. Good night tonight. God bless y'all. Make sure you be a blessing. Make sure you be a blessing. Those of you who are given by mail and letter, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What? Don't forget to go to the real Tim Rogers .com. Make sure you patronize our online store. Make sure you got Grandmama CD. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. This live is going to our YouTube. Make sure you subscribe there. The real Tim Rogers. God bless you. You've been wonderful. Bye. April, I love you. Prince of Peace, I love you. All of my brothers and sisters all over the world, I want to say we love you. Thank you, Miss Ivy. Thank you so much. Be a blessing tonight. Be a blessing tonight. We'll be here. Same station. Thank you, Brent, Brenda Bentley. Thank you. We'll be here. Same time. Same station next week. God bless you. Hey, hey. Thank you, Miss Damon. Thank you so much. Hey, hey. Everybody home. Y'all don't know how much I thank you. Help us take the word to the world. Help us make this broadcast better. Come on. Your marriage is going to get better. Your family is going to be get better. Your son is coming back home. Your daughter is about to find her way. Come on. You are dismissed in the sanctuary. You can hug somebody. Tell them you love them. God bless you. Squeeze them until next time. God bless you. Go in peace.
Make sure you pray for me. I'm going to do the same for you. Let's keep one another in prayer as the revival continues. Oh, everybody on the...